Is this a flower? It's huge! It's a Lafricia. What do you think these are? Are you gonna touch it? Ew, don't do that! It's fine, I'm sure. These petals are huge. Actually, they're kind of gross.
So you're the ones that stopped me. Thank you. Are you the one that they call Holly? That's right. Holly is the name I went by as a human living among the little folk. So that means your real form is the rainbow butterfly? Why did you appear to the Furbits in human form? Well, you see, I wanted to thank them. Thank them for what? Originally, I too was a tiny butterfly. Once, when I still wasn't used to flying through the forest, I got caught in a huge spider web. I couldn't get out of the web no matter how much I struggled. So I just took a deep breath and resigned myself to my fate. Just at that moment, some Furbit folks came by and released me from the web. I was free. I flapped my wings with all my might and returned to the sky. They were waving as I flew off. They had saved my life, you see. My seven saviors. The years passed. I grew and matured as a rainbow butterfly. As a monster, too, I found myself with plenty of magic powers. I used my powers of transformation to assume human form and approach them. I had wanted to give them something as a sign of my gratitude. But while I was living among them, I realized that the time I spent with them was more precious than anything. Before I knew it, I found myself wanting to spend the rest of my life as a human. Then why'd you disappear? The Furbits really miss you. Oh, that. There was sort of, um, an accident. A great, dark force from somewhere began to affect me. I was a monster, after all. And so this force awakened the powers of my original self buried deep within. I came to realize that I could never suppress the dark stirrings in my heart. There was nothing I could do but quietly leave their company. I've been hiding out in these woods, doing all I can to gain control of myself again. But the dark force got the best of me, and I was just a mindless monster when I attacked you. So that's what happened, huh? I can't go back to my old friends anymore. Would you please give them this letter? Okay, I'll be sure to give it to them. Perhaps the dark force that controlled me is what you'll be fighting from here on. It's an incredibly fearsome power. You must not lose against it. Please, win back our world. Well, I should be on my way. Try to get to Jurak. Okay.
curious about him. Griffin does not exist in our time. He shows up just a little in the memories of our distant ancestors. Seems he likes flowers. Huh? Flowers? That's what I remember anyway. I don't quite know the details. But Griffin was around in ancient times. He is sending some strong otherworldly powers into the present. He's controlling a lot of things. So Griffin is controlling the monsters in this era from ancient times. Which means his world is that of the distant past. That's right. So Jurak, how far back in the past is Griffin? powers. He can see everything that happens in the world. Well, let's go and see him. Yes, good idea. But it's not that easy. Huh? Crest's origin point has been erased, too. That's not a problem. We have the Carpenterian, right? Let's just revive Crest's origin point as well. Yes, exactly. Crest's origin point is the holy ground of Balance Valley. In the future, a great temple will be built there. That's where all the sages will gather. So that's where Crest will be. Let's get going. that prevent me from staying with all of you. You might already have an idea of what those reasons are. But for me, the time we spent together was truly wonderful. Holly! <laughs> Farewell, everyone. Stay happy and healthy. You will always be my one and only family. Butterfly, it doesn't matter. Holly's just Holly to us. You knew? Of course I knew. I could tell she wasn't human just by her scent. But if Holly chose to approach us as a human, that was perfectly fine too. We don't care so much for outer appearances anyway. 
By the way, Monica... What? We want to go with you two on your journey. What do you think? Really? You want to? Of course! With your help, we'll be able to put the world back to normal in no time. And so, our adventures in the forest came to an end. Holly, the mysterious woman who got lost in the forest, wasn't you, Mother. But for some reason, I wasn't surprised. I always felt you'd be at the end of this journey. Just about then, Borneo and the others finished clearing the rock from the tracks so the train could move on again. We set our sights on Balance Valley.